All right, welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning how to create the chamfers that are going to be on the edges of the outside, as well as the inside circle and pocket right here. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that. Okay, so to go to do the outside chamfer, which is going to be a distance chamfer, I'm going to open up my drawing again, and you're going to see that this is a radius of 0.1 all around both pockets of the inside of the pocket. And this goes also to this pocket as well. So both of these pockets have a radius of 0.1 and the outside of the pocket, which is right here, has a 0.1 by 45 degree chamfer. Okay. So let's go back to our master cam interface and go ahead and come over here to this icon called solid one distance chamfer and click on it. You want to make sure that the edge is selected. Okay, you're not selecting a service or an entire block. You just want to select an edge and go ahead and select every edge around our part. Okay, after you're done with that, click on OK. It's going to show you three edges over here. This is going to be your one distance chamfer. Now, you, again, you can move that around anywhere that you want or you can come back and place it where it was when you first started. Same thing as before. Uh, this OK and create new operation is exists. If you want to keep doing more chamfers, you can click on OK over here uh, if you're done and then cancel if you don't want to do any changes. There's also some advanced features automatically over here for you. Now for the basics, all you want to worry about is come on here, over here to the distance and make sure that you have 0.1 set. As you can see, there's a preview already of it. So if I want to zoom into a certain area to look at it better. Now, if you go to propagate along tangencies and just move your mouse over you're going to see what it does okay that's very nice with some radius chamfers and then there's also is mirrored corners you can see what it does between uh, corners and the difference of if it does have it and if it doesn't have it okay so this is a very nice previous of what those two look like if they are selected okay so there's an also an add selection and reselect all for these edges so I'm going to keep that the same because I like that. I'm going to press on OK. I'm going to zoom back out to fit the screen to show everything. Now you're going to notice one thing. The geometry is still there. The reason it's still there, um, there's different ways of getting that geometry out of there. So for example, if you're really creating the geometry only to create the block. So really by the end of the lesson, by the end of the creation of the model, you don't want that geometry there. So my biggest uh, advice in this matter is to create a different level after you create your geometry. So basically, before you've created your solid, you should create a different level. And then after that, you'll be able to turn off the geometries and turn them on. Now for this section, I'm just going to keep it all on level one. And then for different or uh, next exercises, I'm going to show you how to do all of your geometries and then create a new level. So I won't show you how to do a new level in this uh, first exercise. I will show you how to and navigate through levels in our next exercise. So for this one, you're just going to have to put up with the um, geometries that are still there even after the chamfers are done. Okay, so after you do this, let's go ahead and come over here under constant fillet solid and click on it. And also over here, you want to select, make sure that the body is unselected and the face is unselected. You just want an edge because we're selecting the edges all around over here. Remember to select your radiuses as well over here, the little fillets. There you go. And then also I'm going to select this because I already know that there's a radius of 0.1 for both those pockets. So might as well do both at the same time. If you're not sure with that, just open up your drawing one more time and you will see it right here. There's a note that says R.1 all around both pockets, which means these two pockets. Okay. So after you're done with that, click on OK. And your constant fillet, radius fillet dialog box will appear. You can keep that the same. Okay. And over here, you can see that propagate along tangencies is highlighted. The reason it's highlighted is because there's radiuses around this pocket right here. And it will automatically do that for you. Okay. And uh, make sure radius, it says 0.1. And you can see if I zoom in, there's a preview of it as well. So it's a nice little fillet radius right in this pocket right here. Okay, and then there's also one in the circle over here. So if I click on shift and uh, move my part, there you go. So you can see it around my circle over here as well. So I'm going to click on OK to accept that. And there you go. So I'm going to change my shaded real quick to outlined. 
Perfect. Outlined. So you can see it a little bit better. Now, if I zoom in, you're going to notice something very, very familiar. If you design in SolidWorks, that's exactly how things look like in SolidWorks. The radiuses, the fillets, and everything. It looks really nice and smooth. That is something new in MasterCam. You should take advantage of that. It gives you the feel that you're designing these things in SolidWorks. And, you know, if, if you don't have SolidWorks, this is where MasterCam comes in handy. The design aspect in Solid has become much, much easier and so much smoother than before. As you can see, that there's a nice radius over here. There's a nice fillet right here for it. And that's it. I'm going to put it on back to fit the screen. Again, the only thing that is probably going to bug you is the fact that these geometries are still there. So if I move my mouse around, you're going to see it just basically a hanging geometry. That's because we cut through the part and we don't need the geometry anymore. But in our next session, I will show you how to create your geometry on one level and then your solids extrudes and bosses and everything else on another level this way you can turn off your geometries when you're done with your part so there we go i'm going to put it fit the screen isometric and then fit the screen there you go if you just want to compare you can look at this part look at that part there you go you're done you created your solid from your drawing and now you are ready to machine it but we, again with this lesson is strictly for creating solids so we will not be machining anything in this entire dvd all we're doing is learning how to create solids very nice and very efficient. So by the end of this DVD, you can create solids very, very quickly. And this will be the conclusion of the first exercise.